Stop recording. Face centered. Speech off. Hi guys, it's VI Life with Kelly. Excuse me, coming at you guys with another video. This is my what's in my bag video. I have actually been wearing this bag off and on for over a year now. And so I wanted to dig through here with you guys because honestly, I have not really looked in my bag, like dig through here. Um, I've just been going, getting what I need and going um, with this handbag. Um, shout out to Dominique at Macy's here in Lenox Square Mall in Buckhead, Atlanta, Georgia. She and I became like best friends through the pandemic. Um, she would always help me. She worked in Macy's Backstage, which is on the um, basement floor of the store. And so I would go in there at least once a month, a couple times a month and look around and see what they had. And we would kind of like shop and visit with each other. And she's actually the one who was in love with these Valentino handbags. They had them in Macy's in all different colors. Um, they had this size and then they had the mini. This is already a mini. This would be like a small. And the mini was like maybe half this size. And the minis came in like red, tan, orange. Um, they had it in some of everything. Blue at one point. Um, cream. They had a black one as well. I actually bought the tan one. Brought it back. It was too small. I couldn't even fit my phone um, in that purse. I thought they were really cute though for like your little fifth, sixth, seventh graders. I think that'd have been a really cute like junior high or middle school schooler bag um, to get started. But anyway, they had them for a great buy. Um, the mini bags were like maybe $149 um, for a Valentino handbag and that was like their clearance price. And then this size, believe it or not, was $179. It was a clearance price. And for you all that don't understand, Macy's um general store only in certain locations sell the more high-end and have those um high-end luxury boutiques um like your new york store you could find a chanel counter a burberry counter you could find a ysl counter um you could find valentino like all of these brands but your everyday macy store um which is a culmination of several other department stores that Macy's bought out over the years. They will not have these designers, but you could shop them on Macy's.com and you could find things in Macy'sBackstage.com. So um, that's how I'm able to pick these things up at my local store because I'm my Macy's at Lenox Square is an original Macy's store. Um, so it's going to have those um, brands. Now we do not have those boutiques at that Macy's location. In Atlanta, we do not have um, Chanel counter and so on and so forth. Only when it comes to perfume, cologne, um, we have the higher end in fragrance and cosmetics, but we do not have that in handbags and um, shoes, accessories, clothing like that. Only in the backstage will you find those things here and there. Okay, anyway, guys, so let's get into it. So shout out to Dominique. Um, I remember she wanted this bag and she was saving up for her car and she was going to buy this bag after she bought her car and somebody had bought it. Um, then they cut down back on hours. I remember I didn't see Dominique in that store for months and months and months. Then I hadn't came in for months. Um, and then, um, I came back in. So that was like at the top of the year, 2020. Um, I came back in the store around my birthday, like September. Um, they happened to get this bag again and I bought it and I actually was buying it thinking of her. I waited for the longest for her to come back to the store. I asked about her. They told me she wasn't coming back. Um, so I started wearing the bag, guys. And guess what? Around Christmas time, Dominique came back. <laughs> and I had on the bag. She's like, oh my gosh. <laughs> anyway, guys. Um, so, and that's the end of that. But I haven't seen her since. She came back for a couple weeks. And then she told me that she was going back to school. And um, she wasn't going to be staying at Macy's and moving on with her life. So good luck to you, Dominique. I miss you miss shopping with you so guys here's the handbag let me show it to you guys it's all black leather it's the kind of like that croc embossed look it has the silver hardware um this baby has traveled with me she has gone through it all road trips um flights you know what i mean getting flewed out yes this baby has been there with me guys 
And so um, I love that it has the top handle here. I carry it like that quite a bit when I'm getting out the car. Um, and then it has um, the bottom here. So this is the handbag. If I have to give you measurements, I would say from left to right, it's about nine inches here. I would say um, as far as the width of the bag, it's gonna give you another maybe four and a half inches here. And then as far as the height of this bag, I would say maybe around six and a half, seven inches um, for the height, not including um, the top handle strap here. Um, this bag was very, very structured when I first got this for months and months and months. Um, was very structured. Like you, now it's a more supple leather. It's more giving, but that took months and months of wear for it to finally get to the more malleable, soft, supple side. Um, like I said, it was very, very structured and it's very structured still to this day. Even the crossbody strap was very rigorous when I first got this bag and you can adjust the size of it. I've never adjusted it. Um, so there's probably a hard indentation in there if I ever moved it, but you can adjust this. This is the perfect length for me for shoulder, um, carry or a cross or a cross body carry. Um, so, you know, that's that on that. Okay. So let's get on in here. What's in this handbag? What can it carry? I do have a, um, iPhone 12 pro. So, and it does have the Apple case on it and it fits perfectly in here. Now there are, when you first open, so there's a, let me not be so quick. There's a twist closure here. Hopefully you guys can see um, very well. There's a twist closure here. You just twist it there and it opens right up for you. And then you get right into the handbag. Now here, in the front, you have a slip pocket here where you could put some cash in here. You could put cards in here, and I do have a few cards in there. Um, and then you go to your next pocket here. Now, the next pocket here is where I slide my cell phone. Um, um, shout out to Politics and Fashion, a suggested video. I just um, popped up on my uh, on my YouTube feed. I'm listening to her top five um, black fashion brands. I've been learning a lot um, listening to this channel, so I like them. But this is an iPhone SE, like Sam Edward. Um, it's the 2020 model that came out in 2020. And this phone fits perfectly in here. You could actually slide it in um, right side up if you wanted to or vertically. And um, it fits in there so great. But the iPhone 12 Pro fits in here great. If you had a Max um, a larger size it fits in here great as well in this slit pocket right here in the front so you get two usable slit pockets um, I like that it looks like this bag you can't do too much but you really can um, I also have my emery board yes it's falling apart but it's one of those really good emery boards that you just keep holding on to it um, I also have my David Yerman um, jewelry cleansing cloth in here really comes in handy um and then i have um some mother's day coupons for may season here um let me see guys and i have some receipts that i need to upload and scan into my fetch rewards app another quick thing guys if y'all did not know so i have my macy's book that has my coupons in there and um another quick Thing, guys if you guys haven't heard about this new app called get upside you need to get that one ASAP it's called get upside it gives you all the deals closest to your home but the ones that catch your attention the most are the ones on gasoline um it gives you cash back on every gasoline purchase and when you first download it um you get a bonus offer like my bonus offer was 40 cents additional off per gallon and then um i've seen as high as like 28 percent cash back depending on what gas station you're going to so guys um save that money get that cash back and um get your points and rewards it's not exclusive to just gasoline um they have restaurants on there they have and if you allow it to um access your location it gives you every single deal right around the corner from you like 
so everywhere you go it'll just keep popping up continuous deals and it gives you all the gas prices so you never have to guess again how much is gas up the street or at the shell at the kroger gas station which mind you guys kroger and shell have partnered so if you have a kroger plus number or alternative id your phone number you can enter that phone number in at the pump or at the window and get your fuel points and your um gas credits so that's my tip of the day for that okay so let me tell y'all what else is in here so i have this michael kors card holder it's all black and it has michael kors written across the front here in gold um you can get quite a few cards in here um there's two slots on each side and then there's a middle compartment i right now i have probably like 10 cards in here easily um mix of id and um just you know triple a and all these different cards that you need okay this is another um michael kors um card holder and what's interesting you guys i promise you that i do not shop according to brands and i'm not like michael kors faithful but i have so much stuff of his because the stuff is what i'm looking for and it's the price point that i want to pay so for example for this little miniature wallet it's white with the black checkerboard here it has the mk um you know metal symbol symbol or emblem here in all black and then it has all black this is all leather um you could miniature wallet it does open up like it snaps to open and then um you can put dollars here it also has card slots um here so you can put you know like two four six cards but i have business cards in here as well i probably have like 15 cards of a mix of actual credit debit and business cards in here guys and then i have some cash in there this is a cash co um, compartment there this this was on sale in macy's backstage for 24 dollars 99 the original price was like 100 bucks and then this little snap compartment here i put change in here and i do have some folded bills in there as well um this really works well because i'm really big about sometimes i just take off with my jacket and i'll just have like this in a pocket and my keys in another pocket a lip gloss and i'm in a phone and i'm good to go okay guys this is some walgreens brand hydrocortisone cream which is equal to like a benadryl cream um i have a lot of allergies i'm i have a severe allergy to soy like it breaks me out so if i eat something and i start itching i know i just ate something with soy or drank something with soy so this saves the day i just rub it on um it helps soothe all that um also if you cut yourself i have dogs they'll jump up on me scratch my legs you know i clean it with alcohol and then i put the cream on there call it a day um oh that's another thing i keep in this front slip pocket are my alcohol pads you guys i always have alcohol pads on me matter of fact let me pull one out for y'all to see yeah i have alcohol pads down in here i keep them with me at all times um i don't play around about my alcohol pad life okay let's see what else is in here y'all okay so i have some bobby brown cream eyeshadow stick in here the box is beaten down but the product it still looks brand new and luscious i actually haven't worn any cream eyeshadow now in about i don't know a good seven eight months um just because i will forget to take it off and then my eyes will start um bothering me and I actually started having an issue where my um I had a little scabbing on my eyelid um last year because of the because of the cream eyeshadow. So I just let that go. Okay, guys, another thing I have in here is my lipstick. This is Lux Cream Lipstick by Bobbi Brown, and it's in the color Imperial Red. Let me show this to you all really quickly. It's a gorgeous red color. I would put some on. Let me see if I should put some on real quick. Let me see. Okay, guys. So, I think y'all saw the color. Perfectly, y'all did. And, um, like I said, this is in Bobbi Brown's Imperial Red. And it's the Lux, the Lux Cream Lipstick Lime. 
I've had that for a while, guys. I have had that lipstick for a while. I just throw it in my purse. It's a good lipstick, especially if you're getting ready to go do something you didn't plan on doing. You're like, okay, let me get something. Okay, this is colloidal silver. I keep this with me. Um, this is great to fight infections. If something got in your eye, you could spray this in there. Um, if you're having itchy eyes, dry eyes, um, if you possibly are having pink eye, anything like that. If you're starting to have like a sore throat, you could spray that in your mouth. Um, it just does so many great positive things for you. And so I keep that with me. I have my creamy Neosporin in here. Yes, guys, this helps for everything. I get so many scratches and just owies and insect bites, all kinds of stuff. So I just put it on there. I just burned, I just got burned cooking like two weeks ago. That's still healing. So I will put that Neosporin creamy um, ointment on that burn until it's all the way healed and it'll look like nothing ever happened. This is the truth. This Neosporin really works, guys. Get you some. It really works. Okay, what else do I have in here? I have chapstick for chap lips and this is the grape with vitamin E. So, yes, guys, and it's good. I like it. It gets the job done. It's a nice, quick answer to a problem you've been having with dry lips all day also have this hair band i don't leave my house without hair band or scrunchie um when you have long hair you need to be able to put it up when you need to put it up i have this cucumber melons hand sanitizer by bath and body works i buy a tons of these all different fragrances um, I was super excited to see they had cucumber melon available when I went in there. I kind of let cucumber melon go because they had like stopped selling it at one point and then it was like only available when you had the semi-annual sale. So I got, that was my go-to everything. That was like the only thing I would buy for years out of there. So anyway, now I have one Ricola. I usually buy their Honey Echinacea, um... It's like lemon with echinacea. I buy that notoriously. So I have one in my purse. Um, in the fall, winter months, I usually eat those quite a bit. Especially when we had those masks on all the time. I would pop one in my mouth um, all the time when I'm out and about. Okay, guys. Um, so this is my taser. Yes, I have one. You guys, I'm a lady. Gotta be safe out here. That's the bottom line. I have my Orbitz gum. I buy a lots of gum. This is peppermint. I love it. My favorite one. Yeah, peppermint is going to be my favorite. I started out with bubble mint. I love that. Um, and ex sister used to introduce me to the world of Orbitz bubble mint. I was on that for years. Then I had moved on to peppermint and cinnamon. It got kind of difficult to find bubble mint sometimes. So, you know, I had to get what I had to get. So now I'm on that. Okay, my next thing that I have in here is my six key ring holder by Louis Vuitton. It's in the black epi leather. This is a definite hard to find item. So if you can get your hands on it, get your hands on it. You know Louis Vuitton is doing price increases all the time. So don't wait. Why pay more when you can pay less if you can get your hands on it? It took me quite a while to get my hands on this. Um, and when I say quite a while, years. Um, I finally met an SA in the Lenox Square Mall who got it ordered and got it to me like two days, um, which was around my birthday. Um, I think, yeah, that was around my birthday in 2020. That's when I got this. Wow, time is going on by. So, yeah, guys, um, this is my six key ring holder. I don't have keys on every last um, ring because I have this little fob that I need to get into my building. And I have my, you know, mailbox keys, house key. And then I have a few cards um, behind here. That's why I really love this. You can really just take this in a lip gloss and a phone and you're done. You're out. So I love this. I actually have this in monogram as well. 
so next time i do a what's in my bag video um you guys are gonna see all different accessories now one thing i will say about this purse i have been actively looking for a mini valentino makeup bag that would fit in here so that i don't have so many loose items because when you have these little mini bags which i forgot to show you guys what it looked like in the inside this is what it looks like in the inside it has a little tiny slip pocket here hopefully you guys can see that it has like a slip pocket here and it has the valentino um emblem on that blocked silver it's like a silver block that has valentino there it's really classic of them and that's where i keep like my authentication card there and um yeah okay what's the next thing in here sorry guys the next thing in here is yes bombshell by victoria's secret this is the rollerball smells so good hands down i will be buying this for the rest of my life bombshell the original bombshell by victoria's secret is that's that lady when you have that on that is that lady that commands the room she smells so good every single time that and pure seduction they come home with me that's what happens here's this bath and body um lip balm the peppermint thaw um that i was on the hunt for during christmas time or was it even christmas i think it was at new year's i was looking for this i had bought the last one at the um perimeter mall store and still rocking hard with me i love this it smells good it tastes good and it really gives your lips that gloss and that shine that you want at least i do i like my lips well moisturized almost look like i just finished eating some chicken fried chicken that's how i like it <laughs> anyway guys here's my visine for red eyes um this is the hydrating comfort line really this works this really works very very well i had very dry eyes in march they were really killing me they were hurting so bad and um that did the job and believe it or not we picked that up at a gas station on a road trip this is la color it's a golden gloss um lip cream um fortunately i don't know the name of this one and i tried to get one of my be my eyes volunteers to read it to me but they couldn't make it out which you guys know i love my be my eyes volunteers and so that's what this is though it's la color and it's like a glossy gold um, I think that's a nice over top color. I don't think that's like a just wear it by itself, but you might could pull it depending on your um your color. Okay. Here's a lock. I honestly don't know where I got this lock from, but it made it to my purse, and that's that on that. Um, the next thing that I have in here, guys, I have some of this Saravi um cream so you all that love it it's in my purse i have it um and then the next thing i have are two of the same things one's a mini and then one's a larger size this is the um clinique dramatically clear hydrating gel this is supposed to be where you can moisture you know massage it into the face even over top makeup or you can use this, of course, as a base under before you start applying your makeup. But you could even put this on over top the makeup. Um, of course, you could use it to help you remove the makeup. But it's supposed to work all day long. Okay, and then, oh my gosh, here's the last thing that's in my purse. Can y'all believe we're finally at the end? Um, this is this crab tree, um, Bernie and herb lavender body lotion i actually got this at the um hilton daytona beach resort beachfront resort um in daytona beach florida they had all those different the whole line and it was great this was really nice to use they had the body lotion the hand soap um they had the body wash um they had a facial bar like all of that, I tried every last bit of it. And if you wanna see those products, just check out the Hilton Do Daytona Beach hotel tour video where I take you through the room and you get to see all of that. So that's it guys. So this is what's in my bag. Um, I would try to show tilt the camera so you guys could see on the bed, this mountain of things that came out of here. 
and but yeah guys that's what's in my purse now let me update you guys real quick if you guys watch my get ready for bed with me video that i posted last week where um i was telling you guys about the relax retreat um comforter set bed in a bag that i got from macy's backstage and um you know i had a chit chat with you guys and i really enjoyed that so i washed that set okay i washed that set it, uh, about the comforter and all twice do you guys know that comforter tore up there's holes all in it and um there's holes all in it and i'm gonna have to take it back so it didn't survive the washing experience. The comforter did not survive the washing experience. And um, like I said, it's holes all in it. Now it is 100% polyester. So, and another thing, there's clumping. Like the material, the material in the comforter is like clumped all together. So, like when you dry it i would say if i could do it all over again and i had a backyard this comforter i would have washed it on cold like the whole experience of it would have been on cold and then i would have um hang dried it in the backyard i think that would have went a lot better because i think that would allow the cushion or the filling to um flow downward and realign itself and um i feel like the wind and everything the sun and the elements and everything would have allowed it to just dry without clumping and i feel like the heat of the dryer just like you know clumps everything together and mats it together and of course, because it's bundled in there, then, you know, it doesn't have the room or whatever to do what it needs to do. I don't know. I, I really don't buy polyester when it comes to my bedding in the first place. This is something I've been trying because everybody's been pretty much selling 100% polyester bedding. So I'm like, okay, and I noticed that it was easier to get a polyester comforter in the washer machines um, to wash. So I thought, okay, maybe this is the new thing. Maybe they've come up with a, you know, polyester fabric blend that works, you know, kind of like all purpose or what have you. But mm -mm, guys, so we will be having another get ready for bed with me video with me on a take two <laughs> of a new comforter set and that's just that on that okay guys be looking out for the next video which is going to be um what's in my travel bag travel edition so i'll be packing that bag with you guys and um telling you all about what um travel bag i have right now and then um later on i am going to be doing another cook with me video which i was telling you guys in this morning's video um i did stovetop vegetarian spaghetti so definitely check that video out don't forget to like share comment and subscribe also i have a giveaway going on so you definitely want to check that um stovetop spaghetti video because all the details of the giveaway are there go on over to vilifewithkelly.com and follow me on all things social media and like i said stay tuned i'll see you guys in the next video hugs and kisses Speech on. Stop recording video. Start first capture. Stop recording video.